Star Star, see that out. Star Star, copies all, go ahead. Message to observer, Alpha, three rounds, AT delay in effect, three guns. Bravo, two rounds, two guns, smoke on the deck. Seat, cash, TOT, 16. Target number, hotel, November, 5209, request splash out. Shot over, splash out. Record his target, end of mission, target suppressed out. Hello, welcome to the Black Star Legion Realism Unit Schoolhouse, where we talk all things Black Star and Star Citizen. I'm First Lieutenant Val Ritter, Combatant Commander of Black Star Legion. I'm also the Platoon Commander for First Platoon Alpha Company 32, Third Mu, Black Star Legion. Today I'll be giving you a brief overview of the O300 Military Occupational Specialty, or MOS. The O300 series MOS is where our former UEE Marines now serve in our professionally trained, independent military force. Black Star Legion's 3rd Marine Expeditionary Unit, or 3rd MU, is comprised of both pilots and Marine infantrymen. The 3rd MU is made up of the space combat elements where our Marine aviators go, the ground combat element where our Marine infantrymen go, and the logistics combat element where special skill logistics and engineering Marines are assigned. We continue the heritage of the Marine Corps belief, every Marine a rifleman. The infantry elements of the MU's ground combat element is comprised of two different MOSs. Within the O300 series, new members will choose the O311 rifleman billet or the O302 infantry officer role. The O311 riflemen are the majority and the backbone of the Black Star Legion Realism Unit's ground element and act as the center of gravity for all ground operations. The O302 infantry officers are selected for Officer Canada School from our enlisted ranks as billets open, but on occasion we accept new officers at the recruitment phase. Regardless of specialty, infantrymen are primarily employed in units from the fire team to the company level to locate, close with, and destroy the enemy in all environments and weather conditions, day and night. Infantrymen are principally trained to operate on foot. However, infantry units are capable of embarking aboard and fighting from gunships, assault landing ships, motorized vehicles, and small vessels. As a principal component of the Marine Air Ground Task Forces ground combat element, infantry units here must be comprised of Marines who are trained to direct supporting arms fires and act in concert with other combat arms units. All infantrymen must be masters of field craft and proficient in the use of operations of small arms, breaching techniques, basic fire team maneuvers, communications, demolitions, rockets, and mortars. Training is at the core of our unit's capabilities, and graduation from the School of Infantry, or SOI, is really only the beginning of mastering one's skills. Our infantrymen advance their training in specialized areas that improve their capabilities in other areas such as breaching, communications, intelligence gathering, special weapons employment, fire team operations, urban warfare, close quarter battle, or CQB, and shipboard security, vessel board, search and seizure, or VBSS as we call it, direct action, reconnaissance, internal defense, patrol operations, and humanitarian relief, just to name a few. A summary of the MOS 0311 riflemen held by enlisted marines ranks private up to sergeant major. The rifleman employs the P-4 AR ballistic assault rifle, the P-4 SC assault rifle, and the ATT-4 laser assault rifle, and a number of other mission-specific weapon systems. Riflemen are the primary scouts, assault element, and close combat forces available to Black Star Legion Realism Units 3rd Mu MAGTAF. They are the foundation of the Marine Infantry Organization here, and as such are the nucleus of the fire team within the rifle squad. Our Marines focus both on Fleet Anti-Terrorism Security, or FAST, and Recovery Tactics Team, or RTT, which is similar to bounty hunting. Non-commissioned officers are assigned as fire team leaders, scout team leaders, and rifle squad leaders, and in advanced ranks move into the headquarters element. Marines here can advance onto and be selected for our JSOC Marine Raider Platoon and enter things like Scout Sniper School and the Infantry Battalion. There. Our Marines will learn the O320 MOS series related to Reconnaissance Man, specializing in combat EVA, HALO and HAYHO operations, scout sniper, and intelligence collection specialties, among others. The prerequisites for the O300 series of MOS selections is simple. Marines must successfully complete the training pipeline for the O311 Rifleman. Requirements? Apply for membership ensuring you meet our simple membership requirements. 
attend and complete our recruit training course. Finally, enter your Phase 2 MOS pipeline and complete the Marine Rifle course at SOI. Finally, I will cover the MOS 0302 Infantry Officer held by the ranks of 2nd Lieutenant up to Lieutenant Colonel. In the Black Star Legion Realism Unit, Infantry Officers are 3rd MU Unit Commanders or their assistants in the Infantry and Reconnaissance Units. They plan, direct, and assist in the deployment and tactical employment of the MU and any subordinate infantry and reconnaissance units available. Infantry officers are responsible for the discipline, training, morale, and welfare of their unit's Marines. To fulfill these responsibilities, our officers are trained to plan missions, determine requirements, evaluate intelligence, estimate the operational situation, and formulate, coordinate, and execute appropriate plans for offensive and defensive maneuvers, reconnaissance, fire support, vessel internal defense, communications, and operational logistics, as well as maintenance. Our infantry officers are assigned as platoon commanders and company commanders, as well as mission commanders, and can work in the MUSE headquarters element. They also undergo advanced training from our NCO Corps after billeting into their first platoon assignment. The prerequisites for the 0302 Infantry Officer, a Marine must be selected from within the Black Star Legion Realism Unit's 3rd MU, available at the rank of V4 or Corporal, as well as be in good standing within the unit and no disciplinary actions within the previous six months. An Infantry Officer billet must be available or coming available at the time of selection, and on rare occasions we will pick up an Infantry Officer out of the recruitment phase if special selection criteria and an intensive interview is completed and approved by command staff. The requirements, complete Black Star Legion Realism Unit School of Infantry and Officer Candidate School. I'd like to thank you for watching this informational video distributed with the authorization of both Black Star Legion Headquarters and the 3rd MU Headquarters, presented by Alpha Company and our J1 Manpower Recruiting Shop. If you would like to find out more information, please visit our website at www.jtf8.com and you can also go to our forums at www.jtf8.com forward slash forums and you can find information on about TeamSpeak if you'd like to speak with a recruiter. And as always, be strong, be of good courage, long live independence and freedom from the Empire in the verse. Black Star Legion, out. Bravo, two rounds, three guns in effect, target number, Sierra.